Hi, Mrs. Daly here, and today I want to share with you my book, Henry the Green Zebra Pig. This is the story that I wrote and illustrated, and I want to read it to you today. In her good old blue pickup, Farmer Kate bounced up and down, not from music on the radio, but from every bump in the ground. On the side of the road, she saw a sign bright and big. Kate stopped to read it. For sale, only $10 a pig. She had always wanted a pig, and that's all it took. So Kate decided she just had to take a look. There inside a barn in a box filled with hay lay seven small piglets just oink oinking away. Each of them were oh so pink and small, but one baby pig didn't match the others at all. This special piglet was super cute and rare. He had green stripes a green tail, and even green hair. He was no ordinary animal with stripes bold and big. Kate thought he must certainly be a green zebra pig. She knew this little guy needed a good place to roam, so she named him Henry and she took him home. When they got to the farm, Henry made some new friends. There were all kinds of animals from a horse to a hen. Kate introduced everyone, and Henry got to meet Harriet the Hen, Roger the Rooster, and Sam and Sally Sheep. There was Hunter the Horse and a dog they called Dan, Charlie the Cat, who was black, orange, and tan. There were Cows, Cass, and Casey, and that wasn't all. Last but not least, Itty Bitty Melinda Mouse, who was ever so small. Then there was Henry. The animals looked him up and down. Henry smiled at them, but they all just frowned. What kind of animal are you? mooed Casey the cow. And what kind of name is Henry anyhow? I know I'm different, said Henry, and I know I'm new, but I'd really like to be friends with all of you. I'm afraid you're too different, Nate Hunter. Whatever you are, I don't like that color. As all the animals turned and went away, only little Melinda Mouse decided to stay. I'd like to be your friend, she squeaked. Green is my favorite color. Being different is good. Don't listen to the others. Only little Melinda welcomed Henry as a friend, but Kate had a feeling that would change by year end. The town art show would be soon with exhibits and more. Kate knew that Henry was a work of art for sure. Not all works of art come in a frame, and she knew the other animals would soon feel the same. When the day of the show arrived, Kate got Henry ready with care. She fed him breakfast, gave him a bath, and even brushed his hair. Can I come too, squeaked Melinda as Henry got in the truck? Sure, he said, you can be there to wish me good luck. The other animals watched as the three drove away, feeling jealous of Henry's adventure while they had to stay. When they got to the show, there was art from ceiling to floor, from paintings to sculptures and drawings galore. Everyone who passed Henry was completely surprised. A green zebra pig was unheard of, especially one so civilized. Kate stood with Henry as the judges stopped to look. She whispered, good luck, as they wrote in their books. One judge took the stage to begin the announcing. Henry was so nervous, his heart wouldn't stop bouncing. This year's works were so bold, and each one I adored. To start us off today, here's our first award. This year we had a work of art so colorful, so unique, so big. The award for best use of color goes to... Henry the Green Zebra Pig. The crowd all whistled, shouted, and cheered. They clapped for him, and he started to tear. Henry didn't know being different could be so great. He felt like the greatest animal in the whole entire state. All the winners received a ribbon, each one big and bright. Henry wore his home and went to sleep with it that night. The next morning, the good news had been shouted and shared, and all the farmyard animals knew that they had not been fair. 
Henry was a work of art, and they knew that now. They all hoped Henry would forgive them somehow. Good morning, said Henry with a truly happy grin. Good morning, they echoed, and congratulations on your win. Harriet the Hen was the first to say, Henry, we're sorry we behaved that way. Dan the dog barked, you are different from me. I just didn't realize that it's a great way to be. This is your home and you belong here with us. You're green zebra pig and being different is fabulous. Each of the animals wished they could be a little different too. Then Henry winked at Melinda and said, you know what to do. Being different makes you special more than you already are. Dare to be different and reach for the stars. The end. I hope you enjoyed Henry the Green Zebra Pig. I'm working on Henry and the New Kid, my next book, and hopefully that will come out soon. Enjoy your day. Happy reading, everybody.